So today we're going to talk about how you can get a custom scope. So when you first boot up onto the main screen, you're going to want to go to your settings in the bottom left. And the easiest way to find it is to go straight to scope just by typing in scope. This will give you the scope borders option and the scope image option. So the first thing that I suggest you do is turn scope borders off. So if I go into game real quick and aim in, you'll see that there's this big black border around the scope, everything that's around the scope. So you have a very narrow field of view. So immediately you can start by clicking that off. So when you're back in game, you remove all of that. Obviously the in-game scope wasn't made for this. So that's when you want to go ahead and find a custom scope where you can put any scope image you'd like in here. The one that I use is my scope right here. This is the one that I always use in all my videos. So you can copy any image address and put it into the settings. So if you go ahead and set my scope link that I normally use and go back in game, that will give me this scope. The other thing that I think helps a lot is by adding an always on crosshair. I use scopes that don't necessarily have a point in the middle. I just have my crosshair always on like this. So that way when I'm aiming, when I'm not aiming down sight, there's a defined point in the middle of the screen. And then when I scope in, it's the same, the same point. That helps me aim a lot better. But if you're looking to get a custom scope, you can use any, any picture that you'd like. It just has to be a PNG. So if you go on Google here, so what you want to do is you want to go on a Google, type in any image with a PNG, because that is a transparent image. And once you are there and you find something you like, click on the image, right click on it and click open image in new tab. From there, you right click on this image and hit copy image address. Once you have that, go back to Krunker and put it in this box. And then that will give you your new scope. You can use any image you'd like. You can also use GIFs. So if you'd like, you can have an animated scope so the same three applies here if you want a scope image that's moving just look for a gif make sure you type in transparent and look for those look for those squares in the background go through the same exact process open it up in a separate tab copy the image address and then place it into the game now this one's probably going to be a little big but just for example it shows you how you can really make the game your own by having custom scopes and things like that to match color scheme make things easier to see there's a lot of ways that you can customize the game to make it fit your own for me, we're just going to go back to my usual scope. I changed the scope not for personal flair, but just to make it easier to see and to make the easiest scope. It's very simple, very small, just makes it easier to see things. And that's how I get my custom scope. That is it for today's video. I hope these tips helped you out and I hope they help you customize the game a little bit more to see how you want it. If you have any more questions, like I said, I stream on Twitch. Link will be in the description below. You can ask me live if you have any more questions there. If you're interested in the scope that I use, I will also leave the link for that below because I know a lot of people ask for the site that I have. They really like how simple it is, so I'll leave that in there. Anyways, thank you so much again for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I hear him around the corner. We're going to come after him. I hear him. They can't hide. They can't hide. One. Ooh.